brothers my sisters today we look for any and this is the sad reality any reason to divide us and we work on it and we massage it and we allow it to grow and we become more and more divided small crack we chisel into it and we make it a huge crater that's what's happening i encourage you to look for reasons to get together rather than looking for reasons to split the ummah needs to come together we will always have differences whether it's with our parents with our children with our spouses with our brothers and sisters with the broader family with the community even as an ummah sometimes you may be doing diff things differently from the brothers and sisters we have in indonesia and malaysia they may be doing things differently from brothers and sisters in arabia they may be doing things differently from those in the states and those in europe because each one knows what he or she is going through you may never know the circumstances surrounding why they are doing what they are doing but they are your brothers and sisters treat them that way treat them that way if you need to correct because there's something seriously wrong be patient be patient and do so in a loving way let them feel before you tell them what's right and wrong that you are genuine you see when you when you develop a relationship with someone whatever you tell them they will listen to it in a you know with open ears because you have a relation but when you don't have a relationship you phone someone anonymous call i want to say this and who are you brother if you were really bothered make a relationship come to me greet say things want to you say you know i just want to just say one two things after you've known me for five weeks six weeks a year maybe perhaps you might want to if i was really in the wrong wallahi i would love it that someone told me privately hey you know what this is an issue and they did not go and advertise it today we advertise it so badly and like i said it's even a lie so who's destroyed? I am destroyed. Sad reality. So my brothers and sisters, as an ummah, we are calling each other names. We are dividing each other. We are splitting each other. We have Wallahi al-Azim. I swear by Allah, a thousand things in common, but we will still divide each other due to the ten things we do not have in common. That is where our failure lies. That is where the destruction lies. Where you are looking for reason. To divide when i see you i say no let me find a reason why i don't have to greet you i can call you a funny name i can call you a kafir even astaghfirullah and i can spit at you i don't have to reply your salam let me look for that reason why it's a sad reality look for thousands of reasons why i must smile at you and still greet you i hope that is a message for myself and all of you and I hope this message goes far and wide because as an ummah wallahi what I said tonight I need it and you all need it and we need it as an ummah to develop ourselves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never change the condition of an of a nation until each individual does not take it upon himself or herself to change himself or herself May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease and goodness aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad Subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us, warns us of something that we do need a warning about today in the world. Today, what happens to the Muslims? Every small thing, we are divided. Small thing, we cannot work together. We are divided. If a person, for example, is tall, he doesn't get along with those who are short. I mean, that's a bit ridiculous, but it can happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really has warned us about dispute amongst you as an ummah. If you are to dispute and argue, what will happen? You lose your power and your might as an ummah. Today we have 2 billion Muslims on the globe. We cannot agree to swat a fly. I'm honest with you. We have 2 billion Muslims on the globe. We cannot agree to swat a fly. Why? Because everyone is a big sheikh on his own. And everyone wants to have a big say. And the sheikhs are fighting each other. Each one calling the other a kafir. Wallahi, it's a reality. So what is happening? Our leaders are debating and arguing and fighting and calling each other names. The public are even more confused because any message of goodness, they are kept away. Hey, don't go here. Don't go there. What is the story? What happens? Allah says, وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِيحُكُمْ وَاصْبِرُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ 
verse number 46 of Surah Al-Anfal. Follow Allah and follow His Rasul and do not dispute with one another because it will result in your total failure and the, and the going away or snatching away of your might as an Ummah. Gone. Totally gone. Why? Because small disputes. Today, brothers and sisters don't speak to each other. What a shame. Uncles and aunts don't speak to each other. Trustees from one masjid do not get along with trustees from another masjid. Why? It's an issue of prestige. What are you talking about? We are an ummah. We share the shahada. That's enough. Put aside your differences and come together. We need the might as an ummah. We have the numbers. We have everything. But the problem is we are disputing. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us in another verse in the Quran. Do you know what he says? وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ بَعْضُ The kuffar, they are supporters and protectors of one another. Come what may, they put aside their differences when it comes to sticking up for one another. This is in the Quran. We read the verse tonight. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us. This in fact is verse number 73 of the same surah, Surah Al-Anfal. Do you know what Allah says after he tells us that the kuffar stick up for one another and they protect one another? He says, if you are not going to do the same, then there will be great fitna and fasad on earth. That means if you are not going to stick up for one another and protect one another, then there will be chaos and corruption on the whole globe. Hence, we find the chaos and corruption on the globe today. It is a decree of Allah. We are totally disunited. We cannot see face to face yet. We are born through one mother and father. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the ummah. May Allah protect us. It is worth crying for my brothers and sisters. We are calling for unity. It is not going to come without tolerating one another. We need to understand not everybody is going to think the same. Not everybody is going to have the same inclinations. But don't we share the shahada? Isn't that stronger than the bond of blood, my brothers and sisters? Gone are the days when the kuffar are excited because they can trample over us by the mere disunity that we are engaged in, my brothers and sisters. We need it. We need it desperately. Our brothers are suffering across the globe, all over. The reason is we are swearing one another. We are calling one another names. We do not want to look at one another. Whereas we all utter the shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. My brothers and sisters, it is a passionate call. We want peace. We are searching for peace. We are the people of peace. Why then are we looked at as warmongers who are killing one another across the globe just because we have a little difference? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect this ummah and may He grant us unity. May He open our doors until we meet again. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.